started, it was just it was a couple weird stories on the news. And it was so quick, everything. It just happened. Two weeks later, I'm in the hospital, and there were soldiers shooting people in the halls. They were shooting people, man, not walkers. Hey, Walking Dead fans. This is going to be a video on Operation Cobalt. It was a request from some commenters, and I wanted to get this in and let you guys know a little more information about what this is, what it was, what happened. Because we did learn about it in Fear the Walking Dead and saw most of it play out in Fear the Walking Dead, but we did see elements of it in The Walking Dead also. Most all of the fans love the early days of the apocalypse more so than later on. Seeing society break down and the apocalypse happen is, I guess, more exciting to everybody than just the rebuilding of society after the fact. And we remember when Fear the Walking Dead first came on, when they first were advertising it, they said that it was going to let us know a lot of stuff about how things happened and, and where it came from and maybe even what caused it. They didn't let us know as much as they led us to believe in the advertising. But we did at one point learn about Operation Cobalt. Operation Cobalt is the name given to the plan devised by the U.S. military in order to contain the spread of the infection. It also contained a contingency plan that should the military lose control of the situation. When things first started to go south, and I would call that the day in Fear the Walking Dead where Nick found his girlfriend Gloria had reanimated and she was eating people, things definitely spiraled out of control pretty much in a day or so. So the military employed Operation Cobalt and it was deployment of National Guard units into major urban areas such as Los Angeles. And these National Guard units set up what they called safe zones. They also set up medical facilities, sometimes in a stadium or in an encampment with tents. Depends on the location or the safe zone. And they thought they could use these safe zones then to go out and take care of all of the walkers and take back civilization. So Operation Cobalt sent these National Guard military units into different areas some of the cities we definitely know were Atlanta, Los Angeles, San Diego, Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, Phoenix, just to name a few. So within all of that, of course, they wanted to have a safe area, medical facilities for treating the possibly infected and the, the people who's been injured. Of course, they had protocols to go by. One of the safe zones pretty much in the neighborhood that Madison and Travis had a house in. So they definitely got lucky that their neighborhood was pretty much deemed a safe zone during the initial stages of Operation Cobalt. Of course, we find out from the National Guardsman Andrew, who was kind of seeing Ophelia, Daniel's daughter. And Daniel had Andrew in the basement torturing him to try to get information because they had taken his wife, Ophelia's mom, and also Madison's son, Nick. And they were trying to find information out of what's going to happen and where they were. So Andrew tells them about Operation Cobalt and the contingency plan that had already been initiated. At like 9 a.m. the next morning, the military was going to move out. The contingency plan, which if the first part of Operation Cobalt failed, which it did, they would initiate, and that means that individuals in medical facilities would be humanely terminated. And that included Daniel's wife, Ophelia's mom, and Madison's son, Nick. And military units would withdraw during the night so they wouldn't panic the civilian population. All of the National Guard units would withdraw to Air Force bases and regroup. Big surprise there. No, I mean, there's, there's not emergency broadcasting some stock. And that recording at the refugee center. And the third thing, something that we saw in 
The Walking Dead that happened to Atlanta, Shane and Lori witnessed the napalming of the city. That was the third thing that was going to happen once the National Guard units got out of the safe zones. All of these zones and other parts of the city would be napalmed and bombed trying to kill the infection, trying to kill all of the walkers. And if you remember on the radio, the public service announcement was saying all the people come to Atlanta. That's that's where the safe zone is. Come to Atlanta. And of course, Shane and Lori couldn't get there because of a traffic jam, but millions of people had already flooded into Atlanta. So when the safe zone gets overrun and the military leaves, there's millions of walkers in the cities. And this probably happened in pretty much every city and every circumstance. Millions of walkers ended up being inside the cities at that point. Surely the napalm got the most of them, but as we saw when Rick rode the horse into Atlanta, there were still very large groups. And when that helicopter flew over in season two, it began a large group of walkers going toward Herschel's farm. So definitely lots of walkers ended up being in the cities. We do see a little bit of Operation Cobalt in the Fear the Walking Dead production that they did. It's like a podcast. It's called Radio Waves. They had one episode of it called Should I Peak, where a park ranger was broadcasting and said the forests of Yosemite National Park and Sierra Nevada Mountain Range were on fire and were likely to be gone in a week. But I'll go over those podcast radio waves. There were several of them in another video. We have a plan. You have a United States soldier strapped to a chair in a goddamn base. Yes. Now we have something to trade. Look at these guys. These guys are not warriors. These are kids. These are little kids who want to go home to mama. What kind of what's left of them? So we first heard Operation Cobalt over the radio while Daniel was torturing Andrew. And then Daniel ended up asking him, what is it? And that's when Andrew finally let him know what Operation Cobalt was. Tell him about Cobalt. It's a command code to initiate evac. From the LA Basin. Not you. It's just us. What? Cobalt includes procedures for the humane termination of. I definitely think Fear the Walking Dead would have fared better as far as ratings and the story if Travis, Madison, and Nick had not met Strand and went off on the boat going to Mexico and such as that, but stayed in California, bouncing around from town to town kind of like they did in The Walking Dead, just traveling through whatever's left of society. But that didn't happen. They actually fled the city, and from the boat, they saw cities burning like San Diego after the napalm happened, after Operation Cobalt's contingency plan went into effect. So as far as just thinking about it, of course... It's a TV show. There's so many unrealistic things about all of it. Let's, you know, and start with Andrew. He knew too much, it seemed like, to be just a soldier. You know, in the normal military ways of doing things, he would get an order to do something, and he would not question that order, and he definitely would not know all of those details. But let's just say because the structure was breaking down, society was breaking down and everything was kind of falling apart and their unit was small and compact that more of the guys inside the unit did know what was going on so let, we could say that maybe but as shown here as some extra content it wasn't on the show but as extra content AMC released this document that supposedly went out telling the officers in charge of the safe zones about the contingency plan and one of the biggest things, if anybody is familiar with the military at all, is this is definitely not any type of official military document. It doesn't look like one. It's not worded like one. It was definitely written by just some writer in a room at AMC. They didn't put a lot of thought into it, it doesn't seem like, or even the writing of the show trying to tell us about Operation Cobalt. So there's loopholes, there's very unrealistic things in all of this, especially if you've ever been in the military or know things about the military. It was hard to watch a little bit in, in that regard. But another note, if you remember the National Guard unit 
in season three, I think it was, of The Walking Dead when the governor saw the helicopter. I think the governor shot the helicopter down. It could have been engine trouble. Either way, he was able to get one of those guys alive and he told the governor where the rest of the unit was and a little bit about what happened. Seems like he was describing Operation Cobalt and this group, this military unit, National Guard unit, just kind of went out on their own and set up a little camp and they didn't have any contact with the upper command. So as far as the upper command goes, when they saw that Operation Cobalt was failing, they sent out this contingency plan to scrub it, get high ranking officials, military people, and some medical people and stuff, get them out, and then bomb the place. So there was some type of higher ups going on, at least up to that point. But as we can see in the season three National Guard unit, that guy said, you know, we're just kind of out there on our own. So at a certain point, possibly soon after the contingency plan happened, did the upper echelon, did the uh, upper government that was still intact, did they go into hiding and just say, we just got to forget our guys on the ground? Or were they somehow overran as well? And is there even an upper government, any type of people left like that at this point? So as far as we know, Operation Cobalt was enacted through the military, either by the military upper command, by whatever government was left at that point. It could have been the elitist. It could have been some group that had taken over. We're not sure exactly where the orders came down from. We never see any of that information, but we do know that the military structure pretty much disintegrated. And as a little tidbit of trivia information, Cobalt was the name they used for the show, Fear the Walking Dead, before they revealed the real title, Fear the Walking Dead. But that's Operation Cobalt in a nutshell. And if you guys know any other information about it, please put it in the comments below. Start the discussion. Let's talk about it. What other clues or things you might have seen in The Walking Dead or any other stuff in Fear the Walking Dead you'd like to discuss that might relate to Operation Cobalt. And definitely check out the other videos on the channel. I appreciate all the support I can get for the channel to try to keep it going. Because as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.